Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Look Fantastic Beauty chest and this is a chest right next to me here and it is worth £383 but it's selling on Look Fantastic's website right now for £100. So it's really exciting because there are 11 full size products in this and there's a mixture of skincare and makeup inside which I'm very excited about. So yeah, once I've unboxed it and reviewed it all to you and if you're interested I will leave a link to it down below in the description box for you. So yeah, let's go ahead and we'll get started with the unboxing. Again, this is what the chest looks like and it is a similar packaging to the advent calendar. So if you've seen my unboxing of that, then you will be familiar with this package design. So yeah, it says look fantastic along the top there with the LF logo and then it opens up like that at the top and then there's also this drawer down below as well i'm not sure if you can see but it says look fantastic beauty chest right here on it so i'm going to start off with the stuff that's in the top part of the chest and like i said there's 11 full size products in it i love the little tabs you use to open this so up the top there it says it's a season to be and feel and look fantastic and it also says there are 13 luxurious treats inside so i think i said at the beginning that there's 11 products inside so I got that wrong there's actually 13 products inside and they range from skincare hair care to makeup and some homeware okay so I'm going to start off with this here and this is a product that I was so excited to try in this chest that I've actually used already today on my face so it's the hourglass veil translucent setting powder so i've heard so many great things about this um setting powder and again i've always wanted to try it but it's like really expensive and it's one of those products that you don't know like if it's going to work um as well for you as it does for everybody else i did however get the laura mercy air translucent setting powder a few months ago and i absolutely love that so i was very intrigued to see if this one performs just as well as that um so yeah this is the packaging for it right here so as you can see this is not full size so this must be one of the kind of smaller treats so there must be 13 eight, 11 full size products in it but maybe two that are slightly mini sizes so this looks like a little bit of a mini really nice packaging for it and i would say as i said i've used it already today on my face so there's a little bit of powder there in the cap in that but yeah so this is a really really nice fine fine powder and I used this today to set my entire face makeup so once I applied my foundation I used this to set, set it in place and it was really nice like I don't know if it's as good as my Laura Mercier one yet because I've only used it once you know but what I noticed is it had a little bit of a kind of um like a like not glow like kind of like glowiness but not like super glow it just had a really nice you know radiant look to it but not like too radiant like the Laura Mercier one is a little bit more I would say matte whereas this one has a little bit of radiance to it it could have just been how my face was like looking and feeling today that it went a little bit more radiant but um, I'm excited to try it more to see how it goes I also feel it's a little bit lighter than the Laura Mercier one as well so like I have it right next to me here because I wanted to show you Um, that's the Laura Mercier one if you're like not familiar with it that's it there and I feel like the powder nap is a little bit thicker or yeah I'm not thicker it's still really really fine but I mean um when it goes on the face I feel like the hourglass one is a little bit lighter and it has this kind of feeling to it that it feels really silky if that makes sense so yeah it's kind of it has like a little radiance to it probably because it has that silky texture to it so far it's really nice on my face i will see how it holds up throughout the day next thing we get is this elemis pro collagen eye revive mask so this one's different from the other eye cream that they have so this is a Re eye revive mask so this is like an overnight eye cream that you apply to your eyes and as you can see as well if you're familiar with Elemis, of course, um, you will see that the cream or the gel stuff inside is a little bit different. This one doesn't really smell like the other Elemis products that I've got, especially like their creams. Um, there isn't really much of a scent to it, which I think is obviously quite good for obviously the eyes. But um, yeah, I don't smell much from it. I'm just going to put a little bit here on my hand and what I really like about it actually is it is a gel product so it's not a cream 
it's more of a gel which I love on my skin and I think it'll be really good for nighttime as well because I feel like it'll be more hydrating um, on my skin anyway like my under eyes when I'm sleeping so yeah yeah it doesn't really smell too much like anything really and it especially doesn't smell like Elemis really like the normal Elemis products but I'm really excited to use it because it's one of my favourite skincare brands and I haven't got an eye mask from them so this says that it's an overnight um, eye cream but you can also wear it under or over makeup as well and you can use it three times per week so basically it's a all day almost every day um, eye cream you can use it morning and night then three times a week next thing we get inside is this eyeliner which i'm very happy about from ico this is their skinny liquid eyeliner and it's in the shade pitch black so this is one of my favorite eyeliner pens to use this in the kat von d one is or the kvd vegan beauty should i say this one has a little bit of a thicker tip to it than my other Ico eyeliner and also the Kat Von D one's a little bit thinner again but it's a really nice eyeliner pen it's also like smudge proof and it lasts a really long time on my eyes and it's one of those ones that has a little bit of a uh, sheen to it it's not like super super matte um, but I feel like that's actually quite good for an eyeliner because sometimes you see less like mistakes not like mistakes but less of a kind of jagged or ragged edge or line should I say to your eyeliner when it's got a little bit of a sheen off it because it kind of reflects the light in my opinion anyway but yeah that is the next thing we get and I'm very happy about that because it's one of my favourites. Next thing we get is this here from Murad. This is their clarifying oil free water gel. So this I am very excited to try because I love watery skincare products like serums and gels are my favourite and anything that's got that kind of watery gel feeling just yes give it to me this is what it looks like right here so it's a kind of slightly unusual packaging it's kind of like a can if you can see that um yeah quite cool so it says instantly soothe smooth and hydrate with this oil free gel moisturizer you can use it in the morning you can also use it at night i want to like pump a little bit of this out to feel the formula so oh that smells really nice really nice and fresh and it has such a lovely texture to it like really really lovely and yeah I'm going to really love this on my skin I think it seems to absorb really well into the skin as well it's not like greasy or it's like tacky so yeah that's my favorite thing about um, gel products or like watery serums like they just seem to absorb really well into the skin and don't leave like a greasy feeling on the skin so yeah I'm excited to give that a go all over my face okay so the next thing inside I am very 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 happy for because this is one of my most used products right now it's the by Terry um, Bomb de Rose lip balm like it's like a lip gloss but they call it a lip balm I think this is my most used product right now I wear it on top of all my lipsticks right now like I actually have it on my lips today not this one but my other one so this is the other one that I have here and as you can see like it's a bit pink because I'm always you know applying it on top of my lipstick but yeah I I just love this lip gloss lip balm so much it's like amazing it makes your lips look really voluminous and it just like it gives the most amazing shine to the lips i'm actually going to apply a little bit more while i'm talking about it this is what it looks like right here and it is so so smooth on the lips it's so smooth it's not sticky it's not tacky it gives you the most gorgeous shine to the lips and yeah very very hydrating on the lips as well like it like it's just amazing it's one of the best lip glosses that well, the only lip gloss i think that is amazing <laughs> like i love a gloss you know i'm always wearing glosses on my lips or like lipsticks that have a kind of creamier glossy finish to them but nothing has compared to this like this is absolutely amazing from by terry like if you haven't um gotten this already then you're going to really love it if you get this chest because 
yeah it's amazing and I think this is a deluxe size it's a lot bit smaller than the full size one that you can get next thing we get is this from Mali Mali it's the grow strong brow oil okay so this is different and interesting I haven't used like a brow a brow oil before and my brows are actually not too bad like in terms of the fullness of them like obviously I've got you know brow product on the now but I mean without um any brow product done they're actually not too bad but I think I'll give it a go anyway it says it has organic argan a couple of other things there which I can't pronounce and it also has jasmine and sandalwood in it as well so yeah I'm going to just apply a little bit to my hand Ooh. Okay, so that smells quite nice. It's a very kind of strong, spicy skincare smell. And I love that it's a little roller ball, so you can just basically roll this right over your brows very easily. So yeah, I'm excited to use that. And I suppose it will make your uh, eyebrows grow and be a lot kind of stronger, so you'll have less um, fallout from your brows. But yeah, this is different. I haven't tried anything like this before, so I'm excited to give that a go. Next thing we get inside this top part is this Aurelia Cell Revitalizing Night Moisturizer. I've been intrigued by their skincare products. Like I like the kind of packaging for this brand. It's very kind of simple, but there's just something about it that quite like it intrigues me. You know, I'm kind of drawn to it with the packaging. So that's it right there. As you can see, quite simple, but I think it's quite nice. Let me give this a smell. Oh, that smells absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, that smells so nice. Oh, I'm excited to use that. Like that's a kind of white, kind of thick cream, but like when like it's thick to the touch, but when you actually massage it in, it goes quite light, like in terms of lightweight. Oh, that is lovely. I cannot wait to try that. The smell of it is really nice. It says it's a rich probiotic night cream with protida, shea and avocado. There is also like a smell of like citrus in there I think as well. It says to apply over your face and neck and massage in to boost circulation and relaxation before bedtime. It's also designed to reduce cellular damage and promote the production of collagen. And there's also hyaluronic acid to give you plump, chewy skin that glows. Okay, the next thing inside is the Kevin Aquan Volumizing Mascara. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. That's what it looks like. So it's a really, really skinny mascara and um, the wand must be really thin for this i will put a picture of the wand if i can at the side of here and um, because i don't really want to open this right now because i have a bunch of mascaras i'm using right now and i don't like to open them because like obviously they dry out right quite quick and it's an expensive mascara so yeah i'm just going to keep this close just now but that's what we get there and i'm excited to use that once i get around to it okay next thing we get um are these Eve Lom cleansing oil capsules with travel case. Sorry, you can't see that with the lights. Okay, so here are the capsules, and these are actually quite big compared to the other ones that I've tried before. Um, and that's a little case, so you probably just pop them in because like a little wheel idea like that with a hole. So you just pop them all the way around that, and then you would just twist it every day to get your capsule out you put on your face. So yeah, really kind of cool, cute. Um, product to get alongside the capsules to keep them nice and fresh and obviously keep them from falling about everywhere. These look interesting and I'm looking forward to trying them out. That's everything in the top part so we're going to move on to the bottom bit. First thing we get down here is this Glove Satin Sleeping Mask. So this is like an eye mask which I have one of these already. I haven't tried it out yet. But it says here, it's a satin sleeping mask that improves the quality of sleep, facilitating deep relaxation and a healthy nap. Satin's supposed to be really good for like sleeping on. So like um, satin pillowcases and anything kind of satin while you're sleeping is supposed to be really good for, you know, your hair and also for your skin, I believe. So yeah, that's the next thing we get. Also down here, we get the Christophe Robin Regenerating Serum. So 
oh this is a hair serum so it's the prickly pear um oil serum which gives you luxurious hair which smooths and deeply nourishes the hair as well so yeah let's have a look at this that's what the bottle looks like it says this luxurious regenerating elixir composed of 94% natural origin ingredients and free of silicones offers a fast absorbing hybrid texture to infuse hair with a soft sumptuous feel and reveal an ultimate shine while also protecting hair from artificial heat of up to 440 Fahrenheit or which is 230 degrees Celsius and improving the appearance of split ends and frizz. Okay so this sounds nice I like that it says it will give you um, a lot of shine and I also like that it will also protect your hair so it's kind of like a little heat protectant as well. Also down here we get the Prea 24 karat gold wrinkle repair cream okay so i'm excited to give this a go and see what this looks like mm, smells quite nice oh it's a very thick a very thick cream actually like thick oops thick to touch if you know what i mean but then um let me apply this to my hand what side i don't have put it on this side because I don't have much on this I don't think oh that smells lovely like really nice oh what does that smell like it smells really nice like I hope it's not my perfume because I've got perfume on and like it's a strong perfume so I'm hoping I'm not smelling that rather than these products but um yeah that smells really nice I'm going to check if it says the ingredients in this because it smells lovely and I've noticed, I don't know if you'll see that on my hand there but there's like little kind of gold shimmery bits in it so it'll be a nice kind of radiant moisturiser on the skin you know it'll give a nice kind of glow it says reignite a youthful glow with this Priya 24 karat gold wrinkle repair cream a lightweight anti-aging formula infused with precious Priya oil to restore soft supple skin and minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles it's a fast absorbing cream that protects from damaging effects of free radicals and environmental aggressors to help maintain healthy collagen it strengthens the skin cell turnover and reveal a smoother more refined complexion okay so i want to actually see what the ingredients are in this it's got sunflower it says perfume so there's going to be some sort of fragrance in that but I'm not sure what um there's also gold in it as well but like gold doesn't really have a smell does it unless it just smells like metal <laughs> I don't know but it doesn't smell like metal I'm not sure what the ingredients are in it but it smells really nice like really really nice yeah so I'm looking forward to giving this a go and I like the little kind of shimmery sparkles in it there next thing we get down here is the 111 skin essence so it's an energizing essence so this that looks good it says this energizing essence contains a combination of revitalizing ingredients which energize and hydrate to reveal a refreshed and radiant skin okay so so far i'm liking the sound of this that's it right there it's a really kind of heavy glass frosty bottle there and it says you can use this daytime and nighttime after cleansing you just apply to the neck and face on a cotton pad oh that smells really nice smells quite melon like a melony watermelon scent i think is it okay i take that back um i think it's um aloe vera i can smell like that has a really nice kind of fresh scent to it like i don't think it's watermelon so i take that back um, I see on the ingredients here it says kelp, it also says aloe vera which is amazing for the skin, I love it on my skin, um, it's got horse chestnut, that's unusual, um, and what else is there, a couple of things which are super hard to pronounce but anyway, like, I like the smell of this, it's definitely, I think now the more I'm smelling it I think it's like the aloe vera. I can smell but yeah it's very very fresh scented and I'm very excited to try this out especially as it has aloe vera in it like I just love that on my skin it's so good for my skin that is the last thing that we get inside the beauty chest so let me just round up my 
favourite products. There's a lot of things in this chest, like I think more or less everything I'm very excited about, but I'm going to just try and pick out a few that I'm so happy about. Um, the first one is the Hourglass Veil scent powder. I've been dying to try this so I'm so happy for that and again I've tried it already today and it is really nice. I'm also really excited to try the Murad um, water gel like this is just right up my alley. This 111 skin essence this just smells fabulous I cannot wait to use this so that's another standout product for me. The Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Mask like yes definitely this is um, a standout for me because I just love Elemis and it's great to receive their products and then I would say the By Terry Lip Balm like yeah although I've got this I just love this type of product so I'm so happy to get more of them because like I'm going through that lip gloss because I'm wearing it like nearly every day so yeah I'm happy to get another one. So yeah they're my standout products from the chest so there's two, four, five of them there that are standouts. Like everything is amazing like I cannot wait to try everything out but the ones there are yeah my top favourites. So that's everything for this unboxing. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. Um, I would love to know your thoughts on this chest and yeah if you are going to be grabbing it for yourself I will leave a link to it down below in the description box for you but that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. If you did please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video.